when you guys see these type of stuff in the market that means something is changing when a bitcoin guy who has mostly stated against ripple is coming out and putting this one that means he understand the reality in the market he went through what happened in the court and this is what he states i think the sec got killed yesterday now that's something positive and you have to understand why that's positive now don't be confused look at the current scenario in the market and understand what is happening it will clear your doubts this is a document from the bank of international settlements and i will detail this particular document the important areas of that particular document today in this video and i will show you guys what happened previously with the same bis two years ago and that press release back in 2019 and how it kind of takes you back to an area where it clearly states ripples xrp the cryptocurrency or whatever you call that crypto asset and its ability to send and receive xrp into multiple fiat currencies so we are actually going to go through that and when people ask about ripple and xlm i kind of show this you know i kind of have the same view if that's for bank to customers bank to bank you know corporates another one is peer to peer so both of them has a utility both of them will be covering a lot of different payments in the near future when these type of central bank digital currencies are coming out now it's not only one stuff we'll have to go through and discuss read and understand these stuff so that you are thorough with anything you understand here because it is really going to give you that now it's up to you to decide if you bought an asset mm -hmm, which is undervalued or you just got into a wrong asset that's completely up to you because i believe technically speaking xrp is doing something really good right rsi is becoming bullish macd is bullish now look at the macd on different time frames here on a three-day chart on one of my previous video recent video i showed we are going to cross to the downside but looking at the price action the pattern the trend in rsi and the price i strongly believe it's going to come back and cross to the upside if you watch that video you'll already understand in last one week i gave you the reason whether this all season is starting or it's going to end and i told you there is going to be manipulation to the best and i explained you guys through the patterns and trends which i saw all the way up to the epic bull run in xrp before this happen right before this happened but the problem is majority won't actually understand this and there are guys who want this today tomorrow or even the next hour and they would be crying like a two-year-old who you know just lost their lollipop that's not the way you should be looking at it you should be looking at this as an investor because this is an investment of your lifetime because the market is turning green you're going up now you can't say this is a bull market everything pops but you can also see not every coin is pumping similarly some are point three some are negative some are positive so there are stuff you need to understand inside of technicals right that's why we go through this and detail what you see in a daily three day weekly monthly and what does that mean welcome to the scientific investor family where we discuss crypto and science behind investing regularly as the market is pumping here and there and i told you guys when the wave two happens we start the wave two the momentum is going to increase and the coins will be popping here and they left and right you'll be confused if you have a lot of different assets in your portfolio to look at the different patterns and that's why we go through stuff like this we try to keep you guys updated so that you know what's literally happening see this is an asset which we hit the target this is another asset where we are hitting our target this is another one which we just hit our target now if you go through there are a lot of different assets we are continuously hitting our targets with the reasoning why that's happening whether it's you know being highlighted in the rsi macd price action there's a lot of stuff which you can understand and once you understand these you'll also get that target in your mind okay so that's literally happening and there is an opportunity in the market now if you're an xrp guy like me 
I use those opportunity to take benefit of it and then move it into my XRP capital. So that's the way I work. Whereas others who watch this channel, I think they have a doubt. I'm kind of giving you guys other coins. No, 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 I'm not doing that. Instead, I'm showing you a market in which you are in. This is the crypto industry, right? Crypto asset class. So if you are in XRP, understanding the fundamentals as we just described here, then you need patience because this stuff is governmental level stuff. This is central bank level stuff, which you are going to detail in this particular document, starting from page number one. It's a lot of stuff happening and you need ton of patience until this plays out. Because as we go through this, you definitely, definitely need a lot more patience to get into this. Then the first page itself, we are looking at MCBDC, MCBDC bridge, cross-border payments, all of these stuff is coming towards payments, remittance market, and all the different stuff, which would take time. Mm -hmm. Now, by the time the entire payment system in the world is going to get into an interoperable layer infrastructure, it will take a bit more time. And by that time, if you can increase or, or if you want to increase your XRP, you can. You don't have to find capital, huge capital outside, from outside. You can actually use the same market, put some money here and there, and with an understanding that by this time frame, this would happen in that particular asset. Even if 70% of that happens, you're making profit. Then you're turning that back into XRP. That's what we do in our Patreon. We try to update you guys through that one. Now, remember, if you would like to get these updates, these are always open. You can just look at the Patreon. The link is given in the description below. Now, before we go into the technical stuff and explain this, I think it's better to start it from the BIS document, right? The fundamental stuff, which we are looking for next three year, five year, we don't know. But if this gets executed in next two year, we would be starting a bear market by then. That means those who see the value way before would be buying the asset way before, meaning the price you pay is not the value you get. That's not the case always. Either it would be overpriced, overvalued, or undervalued. So you as an investor would like to find an undervalued asset mm -hmm, and pay a less price. That means for me, anything in XRP in these areas, 0 0.5, 0 0.6 or below that, is really low. Meaning, considering my value where I anticipate in different targets based on my strategies, I think I'm buying an undervalued asset. Now it depends upon how you look at this market, right? So as we continue in this document, you can know there are a lot of different stuff which you have to understand. How they would be linking, how they would be coming into a area where everything is compatible with each other, right? So, you know, if you want to read through this, I'll actually put these in the description below. So if you can read through that, you have the time, then that's going to be perfect. Now, I would like to jump into page number 15 with you guys and we'll start actually with 14. Okay, that's better here. See, holistically, historically, multi-currency systems have often been developed. Now, when they say this, you will have a confusion what's literally happening, but they're talking from their background after they conducted their pilot program and then they are coming out with this. Now, what is that program or what was that program you can actually uh, literally know that Inathan project which they actually worked this one example Inathan and uh, Land Rock project which they worked with Thailand and Hong Kong in 2020 not back three years ago and all these are happening literally right now with central banks and understand these are central banks which are really high on DLT network and these are central banks mostly in Asia so which region has higher partnership with Ripple the company. Now you can assume what's happening. Previously we went through the BIS document, BIS innovation hubs in Singapore and elsewhere and highlighted what's literally happening there, right? So the page 14, page 15 is kind of showing you something which is coming towards that proof of concept and it's going to target real-time cross-border foreign exchange payments. Now as you move forward in this particular document, you can actually see they are looking at the exchange conversion which is the forex rate, meaning Yen to USD, USD to Euro, that kind of stuff when it really happens, you know the settlement risk is high, right? So you read this, at the same time the underlying settlement risk is significant and increasing. So now they are trying to reduce the risk in a manner they can execute the payment instantly and the risk associated with it 
is less. Now, this particular table which I would like to show, first stuff here is showing frictions in existing correspondent banking arrangement. Now, when I say this, you need to know the background, what they are talking about. This is the background. Declining in correspondent banking, pushing people to use cryptocurrencies. Now, it's not only cryptocurrencies, it's also fintechs. They are gaining on the banks, right? We have talked about this. Fintechs and new technology eating the breakfast and lunch of banks right now. So if they want to survive, at least they have to retain that dinner. If they don't do things properly, they will lose that too. And that's why in this particular document, when you go through it, you kind of understand a lot of different stuff. The advantages of what is coming ahead. Now, this particular article has actually detailed it clearly in a manner you will understand a common man will understand it easily right so here they are not only supporting ripple and stella they are showing that idea of payment execution with a neutral bridge asset so the intermediate currency doesn't need to be xrp we agree but it should have liquid exchange rate markets this is a part of logic behind ibm's worldwide network powered by stella so these are stuff which is literally happening for now Volumes in the conventional foreign exchange markets are exponentially greater than the throughput in any cryptocurrency, whether that's XRP, Stellar, Bitcoin, or any other stuff. Like I say, the Forex market is like $5 trillion a day. Now, if you're targeting that market, that's going to be in quadrillions a year. So in if this is to happen with the MCBDC and the movement towards there, then you are looking at something like, you know, one currency going into another wire, a bridge asset and that's way they kind of give you that idea of you know how the money moves say so when dollar payment is sent to india there will be a conversion from dollars to ripples cryptocurrency and then into the indian that means dollar to xrp xrp to indian rupees so that's how they were watching at this so that's the background right now look at this current table this is new document right you are looking here as operational cost to sustain cross-border. That's free funding, blah, 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 all the other stuff, which Ripple the company was highlighting three years back. And there were idiotic claims coming out from individuals saying there is nothing as free funding in the market because they were from the status quo. They would like to maintain the status quo so that they can cut the throats of normal guy while he's remitting, taking 8 to 10 percentage in fee. Because if the new technology is coming out, if the fintechs are gaining, they can't do that, right? Now, you can actually look at this as two type of systems in central bank digital currencies. One is MCBDC model one, two, and three, where the first one is based on compatible CBDC system. Second one would be interlinked CBDC system. And the third one is multi-currency CBDC system. Whatever you are looking at, you can understand each of these mismatch of communication standards exist in the current correspondent banking network. Now, why is it actually going down? Why is the correspondent banking network going down? Because it's really hard to maintain that considering all of this, considering all of this, the cost associated with it goes high. Right now, CBDCs can be open 24 seven, eliminating mismatch of opening times. That's possible and that's literally going to happen. CBDCs should settle instantly, reducing the need for a status update. So if a CBDC from US or Japan or Singapore or anyway are going to do a Forex conversion via a neutral bridge asset, they know that it's going to be instant by reducing the settlement risk. So reducing the associated cost, which comes with it, right? Now, compatible compliance regimes reduce uncertainty and cost. Now, do understand this type of vision will always be there connected to the political nature of that country. When we see this from a payment perspective, as a central bank perspective, do understand no country would be kind of jumping directly into a multi-currency system unless their political stance in that country allows it. So if your country is going through a hyperinflation where you say, okay, this is my currency right now. So you can look at Venezuela. I'm going to come out with something like this, you know, new technology. But the people may not have that confidence in that currency at that moment. So if they are going to come out with, you know, we are kind of bringing view with the digital dollar or something like that, they may have a confidence. They may try it, right? So it completely depends upon that political scenario too. That will also play because it's all about the confidence of common man. Will he put his goal into that 
dollar we don't know that central bank digital currency we don't know so these are the fundamental stuffs which you really need to understand because as you go through this you have to understand the compatibility is necessary it built build it and they will come that's something we are talking about the interlinkages and common systems if you read through this particular article you'll understand that researcher has actually done enormously and he highlights as cross-border multi-currency payment arrangements are time consuming and difficult to set up experience has shown that setting up cross-border governance addressing conflicts of laws issues and making changes to multiple compliance and regulatory regimes may take years right so if they are going to come out with these kind of structure they need to use the new technologies new technologies can help connect diverse participants and systems that rely on different infrastructure an interoperable infrastructure to move the money whether we believe this or not this is literally happening required central bank cooperation how many central banks are working with ripple the company 40 to 50 how many of them are doing pilot programs how many of them are naming ripple the company or xrp the asset these are stuff which you really need to consider if you want to understand stuff's happening in the market recently you came out with these stuff now why is it say so the judge who was hearing that trial was like okay has everyone who sold xrp sold them illegally is it only ripple now, SEC lawyer is like, no, 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 based on Section 4, it's only Ripple and affiliates of Ripple who has done it illegally. Wow, well, that really makes a lot of sense for them, but it, at least for me, it doesn't make much. Now, as you go through this stuff, you'll understand, you know, there are stuffs which the judge states itself. The judge clearly understand that XRP has utility. XRP is similar or different from Bitcoin and Ether in a way, say, it's similar to Bitcoin and Ether in a way that it's not a security. But at the same time, it has a complete utility perspective, which is way better than, you know, BTC and Ether. So these are they. And this particular stuff literally shows you that the focus of Asian market is moving into Ripple. And Ripple is kind of trying to get that attention. Now we just saw in this recent report from BIS, where is this going to impact much? right this is going to impact much in the middle east and asia and that's where ripple the company is banging on so if one region based on the demographics next five to ten years you know the working capital that's the brain power that's the human power is going to be from the asia whether you are a western guy you don't like it or not that's the reality yeah i agree there are far east countries like korea japan where you have aging community but if you look at pakistan india bangladesh they are having majority of youngsters 20 to 30 percent of the entire population with an average age of say 29 30 33 and majority of them are educated so that's the demographics perspective of that macro geographical political scenario now you look at this and connected with the central bank's political scenario of that country and then the payment system these guys will go out okay anyway in the middle east western countries they'll work they'll remit back to their homeland that's one stuff now the businesses are aligning to that area where the middle classes are increasing right so when we look at the general market you also need to understand this stuff right businesses are going to align in asia they're going to move into asia Mm -hmm. China, India, they will be launching in different areas and that's why the money movement will increase in this particular arena, right? So fundamental steps are a lot. Now based on technicals, the MACD is pointing to the upside. You can see that. RSI is moving to the upside. That's clear. That's crystal. Now it will have to break about this particular trend and I personally think the price has broken that. MACD is bullish. It's in the positive zone. So yeah, it should happen. Now, that's my opinion, not the chart. The chart says it's moving towards here and you have a resistance trend line there. So once we break that, yes, we break that. That's a confirmation. Now, on a three-day chart, we are near that breakout. So if we are breaking out, that's going to be bullish. So as we break out, you can see multiple targets as we move further in XRP, the asset, which was previous resistance, support zone, and the measurements of the breakouts right so on a three-day chart rsi is about to break out and that should be a bullish confirmation for you guys who are trading this 
Now remember, this is a weekly chart and all the way back from this particular candle, early in Feb, I was talking to you guys that we would be bouncing. Jan, we bounced. Feb, we were consolidating. I told this is the support. We are here. We are kind of, you know, holding on to that support. That means the support held and we are bouncing right now. This looks definitely like a continuation pattern candle for me and that's happening at a support so i'm particularly looking at this resistance line and the price if we are managing to break above this we are going to enter into that accelerating channel and this is your base channel you know widening channel to be precise but anyway that's the easy way to understand this right but at the same time look at the rsi it's at the bottom and it's bouncing macd is bouncing so literally what you can see would be like the RSI moving to the upside similar to the yeast and that means the price has a lot of upside so when we come back to this target yeah it doesn't mean so huge if you are looking at a weekly RSI moving towards here it can even move way higher than that so we have explained that in the monthly chart right we have resistance as we go up but the candle monthly here if it closes green above here at 0.6 mark that definitely means guys that's going to be huge that's going to be a continuation candle as we just saw here in the weekly if it is a continuation pattern in the weekly it's really bullish medium to long term and when you get this in a monthly that's long term bullishness macd is entering the positive territory it's staying there both of the line in the macd is entering there so we are going to get volume and as we get volume those who accumulated it at the bottom here those who accumulated at the bottom here are gonna reap benefits those who chase the market yeah the average would be high they would be wishing that okay uh, i should have done something else but that's how the market works hope you guys actually understand these technicals which i'm presenting to you now literally understand this is not only one opportunity xrp is the opportunity but you have other opportunities in the market where others pump like this crazy one times two times three times if you follow the patterns you can definitely find opportunity you can definitely gain those profits it can be 100 percentage it can be 300 percentage can be 500 percentage depending upon your patience level your discipline and your targets now once you are getting through that and making these benefits you can put that back into crypto, you can put that back into XRP, it's up to you. So if you would like to get those updates like this for many different assets you have in your portfolio, you can look at the Patreon, the link is given in the description below. I'll meet you guys on the next video, bye for now.